Any thoughts? Because your music commentary is usually pretty high end. Any thoughts? I don't know whether you enter the fray on rap beef or not, whether you feel comfortable <laughs> in your position to talk about most recent hip hop beef or you want to sit that out. Uh, no, no, no. I'm messy. So I'll enter the fray. Um, first of all, Drake is boring. Drake has always been boring. Drake lives and dies off his producers. Drake has never said an interesting thing. Quote me a Drake bar that matters. Not one. Not at all. Oh, that's interesting. You have trust issues with women. Oh, wow. You did it all yourself. That's every Drake song. I did it all for my team, and I hate women. That's it. That, that's it. his entire like oeuvre. His entire work, his body of work is just that. I don't find him interesting. Do you want to say he can rap? I Yeah. He can rap. Do I find the character of Drake interesting? Not at all. Does he have good production? Yes. I hope he pays them a lot because they're the reason he's successful. I will never be interested in a Drake like rap beef ever, ever, because he's lost it from step one because I don't find him compelling. Is it hilarious that he's currently getting dragged by Rick Ross, a noted fabulist and liar, even on the rap curve of I am lying about the things I am saying about? Yeah, it's awesome. Will it matter? No. No, the kids love Drake. The kids absolutely love Drake. They will buy whatever he puts out. So none of this will matter, and none of this will be a better diss track than Pusha T's on Drake. None. None. Pusha T, Pusha T ended that for me. I do not know if you can ever construct a better diss track than the for, one But for out. everybody, everyone says that was the end of all of it, that none of those guys can come back from that. But Kendrick Lamar is somebody that uh, I think is universally regarded as everyone loves good writing. But not everyone loves good writing. Don't like I, I will tell you this. Uh, the teens, the Preach. teens do not care about in their in what I have been heard, what I've been told uh, by both my son and his peers. We don't care for those old wordy rappers. OK, they like that's it. We don't care about them words, which I respect deeply as somebody who kind of is like lyrics are overrated. Like I'm convinced an entire generation of baby boomers and lead poisoning really led to them thinking Bob Dylan was smart. Yeah, I don't care about words. I don't care about words at all. OK, it's vibes. It's they want vibe based rappers. Preach. It's yes. vibes. I saw Lil Uzi, uh, Lil Uzi perform at Coachella and he said like seven words the entire time to his own. music. Yeah. It's just vibes. It's just listen, they just they just want a good vibe. Does it go? And I respect that, honestly, right? Like I am a Kendrick Lamar fan. I like Kendrick Lamar. But if you come to me and go, Yeah, but did you listen to his words? I'm like, ah, eh, like half the time, maybe. It's gotta have a good beat. It's gotta sound good of my car. It's kinda gonna either want to make me fight or cry. And then if it doesn't do either of those, I'm not real interested. Does he want to sit it out? It's his wheelhouse, man. <laughs> Are your thoughts that J. Cole shouldn't have sat it out? That he, I J. Cole should always sit it out. J. Cole can sit it out for the next decade. I, I, I am joining, uh, I am joining fellow sports writer Shea Serrano in the J. Cole and Salmonex. That's a great way to go to sleep. You got nothing for him, Tony? It just sounds like a hater, respectfully. Yeah. <laughs> Having well an opinion, yeah. an informed of, opinion of hating everybody because, is not an opinion, though. Spencer's like, I don't everybody. like this guy. I he my, sucks. This I like guy Kendrick sucks. Lamar. I go to sleep to this guy. I like Pusha T. I do not care for J. Cole. This is having a stance. If you invoke the word hater, by the way, you've automatically lost because we're no longer arguing on the merits. I've been shuffled into a bin, a category, as you, opposed you to sound saying like a Drake hater. I am one hundred percent a Drake hater. Okay. That's fine. Traitor. I do not like him. You brought I do the not hater, find not him. Me. I do not find him compelling. In the what is compelling about Drake? Find me one thing that is compelling about Drake. What no. story has he told? What beat is immortal? What bar would you drop and go? Ooh, that's hard. Ooh, that's good. Nothing. I just flipped the switch. Flip. flip. Ooh. No one's he just ever said the that. No, he just ever the done flitch. that. <laughs> ah, I misspoke. Drop he ring. misspoke. Flipped a bitch. Damn it! That's a harder. That's a harder line than any Drake line. Thank you. Give him credit. He came out and did better writing than Drake or any of his ghostwriters. Slip, slip. Again, I, I will tell you, edsbscharitybold.com is where you go, and you can just text as one Damn word. It. One word. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts, doesn't it? Charity Jeff Bold Green. 24 to the number 91999. Is that one word? I wasn't clear. Uh, it is one no. word. Charity Bowl and the number 24, all one word. And one more thing, uh, just so that people understand, Spencer, because you are somebody who's doing work here that not everybody is doing, and our audience usually 
really does pretty strong in these areas when they believe in the humanity of a cause. Why is this the heartfelt one for you? Because you said you worked with these people, and I'm guessing somewhere in there you saw where help was needed. Absolutely. It's one of those things where um, these are people who have been through a lot, a tremendous amount. This country is a country of immigrants, and I think one of the most important tenets across any kind of uh, ethos, religion, or belief system is hospitality towards a stranger. That's it. That the first thing that you should say to them is welcome, and you should mean it, and that we should help people who are here because we have the resources to do that. Even if your resources are, by your own estimations, meager, that any amount of help uh, or even volunteer work in your community makes an immense difference, particularly when everyone does it at once. He's a liberal woke hater. He is Spencer <laughs> Hall, everybody. Thank you. You can uh, also support. It's one of the best podcasts going anywhere. Co-host of Shutdown Fullcast. It is, uh, I don't know which one he likes most, the, the football of Saturdays or the funny that Saturday produces. If you can only have one. You only get to choose one for the rest of your life. Uh, the content that Saturday produces or the games that they produce. Which one do you get to, which one do you choose? Love of football or the love of football, a love of funny that Saturdays provide? Um, I will always take the football. I will always take the football because uh, without that, there's not much to it. Uh, he loves it so much, Stugatz. And he's doing it the old-fashioned way. So few people out there just love writing about the South and history through football. What a ridiculous path he has taken to caring about this dumb, dumb thing we do on Saturdays. <laughs> Thank you, Spencer. Thanks, y'all. <laughs>